Hi, I'm Jared Heber with Denison Yachting. We are here in Jupiter, Florida for a walk through this beautiful 2013 60 foot Nordhaven flybridge. We're going to take a look at what makes her one of the most desirable trawlers on the water. One of the things that makes this different than most other trawlers is the sun pad and sail shade found on the bow. She also has a large tender for this size vessel. Because trawlers have deep drafts, a tender like this can help you get into more shallow waters, allowing you to explore even more. This 60 Nordhaven is one of the most economical boats on the water. She has a 3,000 nautical mile range. The captain described her efficiency as only being rivaled by a sailboat. We would like to welcome you on board One Life. Aft is her fixed swim platform. Here we find four removable stanchions. There's also a drop down swim ladder that hinges down into the water. She also has a centerline passerelle. Stepping into the cockpit, we pass through a heavy duty transom door. Next to the transom door is an aft docking station. Here's everything needed to run the boat. This includes both bow and stern thrusters, passerelle and anchor controls. This cockpit is where you'll end up spending a lot of your time, mostly because of the grilling station found on the port side. Centerline is a dinette for six. The entire aft deck is covered, the forward section by a hard top and the aft section by a sunshade. Forward, we find a sink, as well as a staircase that gives you access to the boat deck. We'll revisit this later. Underfoot is a large lazarette. This offers a ton of storage. There's a lot down here, but the key features are a dive compressor for filling up dive tanks, her AC chillers, her steering system and stern thruster are aft, and on the starboard side is her AC shore power converter. On the forward bulkhead is her engine room access. We first arrive at her 20 kilowatt Northern Lights generator. On the starboard side is what they call a wing engine, or a get home engine. It's an 80 horsepower John Deere with her own propulsion system. Her main engine is also a John Deere, which has 325 horsepower. This is a keel cooled engine, which means there is no salt water running through it at all. All of the way forward is a watertight door that reveals a huge defreezer and laundry center. Now let's take the starboard side deck forward to the bow. Entry onto the foredeck is through a centerline gate, which we find on our Portuguese bridge. The majority of the bow has custom cushions that make this area a premier lounging space. Reinforcing how safe this vessel is, is a heavy duty bow rail. Forward is a Maxwell windlass with a substantial 150 pound stainless steel bow anchor. A great addition to the bow are the sail shades the owner installed. This makes this space usable all summer long. Looking aft is the wheelhouse. We're going to come back to this, but I love the forward raked windows. Next, let's take a look at her interior, starting with the salon. The salon can comfortably seat nine. On the starboard side is a settee, and to port is an expandable dinette. Behind the dinette is a pop-up TV. Forward of the dinette is a bar top and the galley. The bar top really helps blend the salon and galley together. The galley is U-shaped and offers a surprising amount of functionality. Here we have a dual sink basin and GE profile appliances, including a dishwasher, an oven, four burner gas stovetop, convection oven, trash compactor, and a sub-zero fridge with a pair of cold drawers below. Port of the galley is the master stateroom. It features a queen berth to port and an ensuite on the starboard side. There are two cabins forward of the master. To port is a bunk room and on the starboard side is a single berth that can serve as an office. Underfoot in the starboard cabin is a huge storage compartment. 
Next, let's look at the boat deck. This is where we find her 15-foot Boston Whaler Montauk, new in 2018. Lifting the tender in and out of the water is her Steelhead Marine Telescoping Davit, the 1500 pound lifting capacity. Forward on the starboard side is a 40 gallon tender fueling station. I love this wheelhouse. It's what comes to mind when you think about the quintessential pilot house. The way the electronics are laid out and how they wrap around the helm is incredibly cool. Let's break down the helm real quick. On the port side is an ICOM VHF radio, above a Furuno GP33. Next, there are three Furuno multi-function displays with a chart plotter, depth sounder, radar, and vessel cameras. Below the monitors are her wiper controls, Fleur night vision, Furuno black box, and a Simred autopilot. Next to this is a follow-up control that acts as a steering wheel. This is also where we find the bow and stern thruster. Overhead are her John Deere engine controls. On the starboard side of the helm is her main breaker panel. Aft is a seating area with an L-shaped settee, tabletop, and a small fridge. Aft of this is the captain's quarters and a separate head. Our final stop on board is the flybridge, which is overhead of the wheelhouse. This flybridge is perfect. It has a seating area in the aft section that is the most picturesque spot for cocktail hour. Forward is her upper helm. This helm mirrors the lower helm. On behalf of myself and the Denison team, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this walkthrough. If you have any questions or would like to see her in person, please contact me at any time.